back, Chargers. We hope you had a great weekend. On today's show, we'll be talking about freshman and sophomore class officers. More college visits. And senior scholarship opportunities. I'm Nico. And I'm Melissa. And you're, you're watching, watching DP, DP News. News. Your official freshman class officers are Sarah Jang as president, Patty Pina as vice president, Eleanor Simon as secretary, M Emily Kling as treasurer, and Julia Lemus as historian. Your sophomore class treasurer is Michael Diaz, and your sophomore class historian is Lizette Rivera. Congratulations to everyone who was elected. They will get ratified into office at the next Senate meeting tomorrow during fourth period in H3. Evergreen State College met in the library today this morning. Scripps College and Lake Forest College will also be meeting here today. Visit the Career Center to get a pass and find out when those colleges are coming. Brown University and University of Chicago will both be here tomorrow, so make sure to stop by the Career Center to get a pass also for tomorrow if you're interested. At lunch, you can spend time with the students in B10 here at DP called Lunch Buddies. Anyone is welcome to come and spend time with the students and learn more about them. Days and times may vary, so visit the Daily Bulletin on the DP website to find out more information. There are a couple of scholarships available for seniors. The first scholarship is the Aspiring Fashion Professional, which is a $1,000 scholarship that will be awarded to students that are interested in pursuing a fashion degree. The second scholarship is Aspiring Animation Professional, which is a $1,000 scholarship that will be awarded to students who are interested in pursuing an animation career. The third scholarship is the Aspiring Business Professional, which is a $1,000 scholarship that will be awarded to students who are interested in pursuing a business degree. All the students who are planning to go to the post-secondary school or college for these careers are eligible to apply for the, for the matching scholarship. Visit the Daily Bulletin on our school's website to find out more information about applying. That's it for us today, Chargers. Now over to Caleb with the sports report. Good morning, Dos Pueblos. Friday night, football traveled to Wainimi and beat the previously undefeated Vikings. We actually played so well in the 40-15 win that I got in the game. On the offensive side of the ball, senior quarterback Kellen Roberts had four passing touchdowns and threw for over 300 yards. Junior Michael Obert had two receiving touchdowns, and junior Cyrus Wallace caught a 15-yard pass for a score. Also added to the scoring was senior Tommy Johnson with an 11-yard touchdown reception. On the ground, senior Blake Irwin had a 48-yard run for the final DP touchdown. On both def on defense, Michael Obert and Josh Feldhaus had interceptions, and Marcellus Gossett had four sacks. Your Chargers have a bye this week, so rest up, Goldmine. We'll need you as we open up league play. Water Polo traveled all the way to La Hala on Friday, losing a tough game 11-7. Leading the way for the boys was sophomore Wyatt Mecklenburg scoring two goals and adding one assist. On Saturday, they took on the Bishop School and lost 18-5. Freshman Ethan Parrish had two goals and one assist. One last reminder that boys soccer has tryouts today, October 3rd, and tomorrow the 4th. If you want to try out, meet under the large bleachers at 3 with a printout of your current grades. Until next time, I'm Caleb, and we are DP. Now over to Sky and Lindsay with your weather report. Hey DP, what's up? The Sky, because I'm Sky with your weather report. And I'm Lindsay with your surf report and joke of the day. Hey Sky, what kind of bagel can fly? I, I don't know what bagel can fly. A plain bagel. It's not, it's not funny, dude. It's I don't, really funny. It's not funny. I found it funny. Okay, um, this week temperatures will be cooler than last week, but windier, so tomorrow it'll reach a high of 78 degrees and a low of 53 with a 50% chance of 14 mile per hour winds? I don't know how that works, but whatever. Uh, Wednesday's temperatures will reach a high of 80 degrees and a low of 53. 53 is a good number, I guess. Um, 11 mile per hour winds. While uh, Thursday's temperatures will reach a high of 80 degrees and a low of 56 degrees with 29% humidity. I don't really know why you need this because you can just look it up on your phone if you really care what the weather's gonna be like. But anyway, uh, along with the weather for this week, uh, earthquake alerts are still in effect for parts of Southern California. <laughs> 